Okay. Now, I have been sent some lovely things for my tea journal. I have done some swaps with some people. And my first one arrived because it was from the UK, so it came quick. Um, and I haven't sent my swap out yet, which is annoying me, but I'm waiting on packaging. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go through the tea journal and we are going to pop some of this stuff in. It's going to be lovely. So I'm going to pop a little pocket in the front here. Um, I can hear a lot of parcels being shut through my door right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have a circle punch, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this circle and I'm going to go around it. Maybe on the back so it's not there. So I'm going to make a mark on there. So, oops. Oh, did it. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut a little hole in there. So we can get things in and out. This is on a fairly lightweight paper, so I'm hoping that it's going to be okay as a pocket. Right, let's just use the Elmer's glue. Okay, this. We'll do a bit. There might be a few breaks in this video because I might have to let some things dry. I'm going to be attaching some things with that medium. We've got some napkins to attach, so they'll need to dry nicely. So yeah, thank you so much to Donata Kerr, uh, Donata, oh, Kick, I think her surname was, uh, for sharing this, and your items will be in the post very soon, hopefully by the time this video comes out you will have received them. I am adding to them as the days go on. I'm fine. I'm, I'm sort of sorting through my crafty stash and sorting out some bits to share with people because I have way too much stuff, way too much stuff. I only have a small bedroom and my room is piled high with stuff and it's just, it's getting, it's getting to me. It is difficult. I have to move so much stuff off this desk so that I can do these videos, which is sometimes why it's lacking because I just I can't find the will to move stuff so <clears throat> uh, now this this is from one of my solar dyeing experiments if you haven't watched one of those videos please do they are I am having a lot of fun doing them. I'm just filming another one as we speak. Well, not as we, literally as we speak, but there is another one. Um, I don't know how to cut that straight. Something about there. Oh, never mind. I'll just leave it as it is. I don't want to make it worse. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've got yarn drying. bathroom and the kitchen <laughs> let me see if I put a line down it there oh, I know I've got it oh, I've lost that lid now mm. no that's not going to be easy to draw on oh dear right So I've got 
plenty of solo dyeing videos up ready for you to watch. I might have even posted that one on my channel before this video. I'm not sure. I'll put a caption <laughs> if it's coming, upcoming or if it's done. Depends how long this one takes. Depends how long that one takes. Which one goes up first. I am starting to run out of videos that are preloaded onto my YouTube so I'm desperately trying to catch up. Oh that's nice. Let's do it that way. That way's shiny. <laughs> so we might be a sudden spurt of me doing a lot of videos again in one go which can be a bit of a nightmare when I'm editing because I film a little bit of this video and a little bit of that video and then I've got to try and figure out on the camera which was <laughs> which but at least um, I'm trying to keep the videos consistent for Saturday. I've just got gel medium on my cup there, so I've got to remember to wipe that off before I take a sip of my tea. <laughs> there we go. So that piece of lace has just been lying around, <clears throat> waiting for me to go, you know what, I'm just going to stick that in that journal because it's doing my head in lying around there so do i have something that i can mission inspiration folder still haven't finished that so that could be another video up, up and coming i'm not sure might need to find the prompts for it this paper can we just go in with oh yeah, let's go in with Elmer's glue for this one so this is from Donata in the envelope that you saw me pull out earlier it's got a lot of tea bags used tea bags which have been emptied and dried and all that which is lovely and she sent me some little stickers and a lot of the tea bag envelopes, which is going to be lovely to stick in. And they are in a different language. I, I would guess, hazard a guess that it's Polish. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I don't know actually. Is it German? Hmm. Looks like a hibiscus in that one. Heather. I've got some Heather tea downstairs. Looks like she drinks a lot of hibiscus. <laughs> and then this, there's two of beads. I guess that's a off a tea box, which is lovely. I did ask for packaging. For tea packaging, so that's going to be a lovely. I shall have to look it up to see what it is. <clears throat> hmm. No, I don't want to cover that up actually. <laughs> uh, take that out now. That was just holding that down. So, ah, yes. Napkin. Now, I might just come back to that because it's going to get gluey and messy. And I'll need to leave it to dry. So, let's see. Where's the next? Next one. Oh. Now, I don't know whether to decoupage this up or whether just to use the one. I think I might just use a flat image. Just because I don't want it to get too... 
to OK. Um, And with glue, oh dear, come on, you can do it, and to refill this at some point. One that will do. Cat shape one. That will do. Right. <coughs> Let's go pop. This down. So it's the same paper again. Oh, now I've got a pen in my tea. Beautiful. It's going great. It's going great. Glad you're all here watching me. Make a mess. Oh, I can't find. I don't know where my spirit glue is. I'm just going to use this. This will do nicely. It's not a very heavy paper, as I said, so doesn't really need a whole lot. Come on. this plastic packaging there just to stop that from getting stuck and then I think yep that's it so <coughs> that's not sticking you can see hmm So this napkin has lots of different sets of teacups, so I could use this one napkin quite a few times, which is lovely. So I'm going to go around the stack as carefully as I can. Could use the water trick, but I think we'll be okay. She did send me a few of those as well, so I can use those in quite a bit. Have a lot of fun with them. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Just a little bit worried about that bottom teacup because that's just gonna disappear against that brown um 
we can always paint it back in I suppose so matte medium uh, have a brush I can use oh a spatula that will do nicely here we go <coughs> Weather is absolutely abysmal today. It's it's a typical British summer. It, one day you get a lovely sun, and then the very next day, or even halfway through that day, it's raining and horrible. I'm just hoping that that means we'll get a nice October. That does sometimes happen. We get like, it'll go a bit cold in September. And then we have like a freak sunny spell in October. But I'm not holding out too much hope. <laughs> okay, so. Need to let that dry. Let's trim some of this. Whilst we're waiting. Yes, paper clip. It's looking for to try and get that to adhere. Ah, oh, there we go. So uh, let's have a look. Anywhere we can pop one of those two guys. Oh, we've got this as well. I thought that would look cute there because we've got the little mouse there. Looks like he's hiding in the teacup. <laughs> I'm not going to pop that out. Uh, there's a little thing there we could pop out, but it doesn't look like it's been cut very well. So if I pop that out, the handle's going to disappear a little bit. So I'll just leave it. Um, pop that then. We might as well. Decoupage this one up a little bit. We'll use some gel medium. I'm not going to push it down. I'm just going to position. Oh dear, I made a mess again. Right. There we go. So you can't see that. There you go. <laughs> so we will let that all dry. We'll come back and find out if all our pieces are stuck together. <laughs> Um, 
Well, that didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. So, if I get any more Happy Mail, I'll just add it to this video. Okay. So, I want to create this little collage -y thing on this tag. This tag is going to have to be cut down. I was just experimenting with cutting out the top of these pieces and I liked it and I had this idea for a collage but first I want to create the pocket or tuck spot to put him in. So I've got this card that we need. I'm going to put it down to the right size. So look that there. Let's just move that to the side one second. I've got my cutter. Let's put that on the table so you can see. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, just need to be a bit uh, croaky today. So, cut that piece off and mm. don't really want too much of the coffee pot, so we'll just slice it like that why does that not look mm, it's not it's not straight there we go I think that's better yeah so that's cut. Now let's have a look. <coughs> Put that away. Let's have a look at this page. <coughs> I feel like it needs a little something. green but that's somewhere to start what if I got two sponges for that Photo is going to be too dark. 
and I don't think antique linen's going to work very well. But we'll, we'll use that. It's the best I've got. I'm going to have to try and find a tea dye. <coughs> I think I might actually physically tea dye some of this too. bit better. At least it won't stick out quite as much. Let's have a look at that. Now then, so if I glue all the way around there, now I'm still undecided as to how I'm going to do this. So maybe if I cut it to size first, then I'll know which orientation we can have it probably going to be this way isn't it don't mind if it sticks off the page a tiny bit uh, put it down to about there maybe let's bring the cutter back <coughs> I've got all sorts of things that I've been playing with a minute so that's the Tim Holtz die uh, oh, these are all Tim Holtz I have actually. I'll just let that go with those. I'm going to get out my punches in a bit, have a play with those. See what tabs and things I can make. And I spotted him, he, I was looking for another project and I saw him on the top and I thought, oh, that's interesting, he's got a table. And then inspiration struck and I thought, what about some massive cups? I drink out of massive cups. <laughs> so yeah, that was my thought process. Okay, so let's try and get this nice and straight first time. <coughs> I love that lace imprint on there. You've got the doily on the other side. Nice. Okay, so let's get some glue onto here. Uh, let's make it nice and strong. Let's use the Elmer's, which I still need to refill. Get off that little bit there. can further decorate that we can stick something on it if we want to later on so let's let set that aside and let it dry <coughs> now it only just fits on there I don't want to cover up too much of that lace, but I think it's going to have to be that way. Yes, so I'm going to glue him down. I'm going to use the elms again, I think, because he's a fairly sturdy cardboard or cardstock. Very shiny on the back, kind of nice. To, he's got sort of a pearlescent finish to him, which is nice. Glue on the back of that.
so I want to cut the sauces off. I was going to keep them on originally, but I think they're just too... A, they're too big for the image. Um, I know the cups are too big for the image, but that's kind of the joke, but they're take, they take up a lot of room. And B, they're kind of tilted at the wrong angle for how they would be sitting on a table from where we're looking at them, so... sauces off. Don't know what I'm doing now. Sorry, I forgot to turn the microphone back on. Ugh. Come up. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Come on. So sadly I've had to cover up most of the uh, lace, but that's okay. Okay. And then to figure out if I've got a quote or something that I could put up there or maybe I want to stamp something so I'll be back when I've figured that out okay so this is actually quite apt I think So it says, by the mid-18th century, tea had overtaken gin to claim the title of Britain's favourite drink. And this gentleman, I do believe, is dressed in a Georgian style, which is correct <laughs> for that fact. So... You can pop that down. Let me fight with this glue. <coughs> Mm -hmm. and then we 
this and then just to add some interest I'm going to be very careful grab let's go for the antique linen again writing that says coffee <laughs> because it's not coffee but we're celebrating here okay Okay, you know, you can do that. <laughs> I'll cut that bit off, it's just coffee time. Probably should have not cut the carrier sheet thinking about it, but there you go. Never mind. Have a look. So there we go. Lovely. Just bring it up just a little bit. There you go. Now you can see it a bit better. So, yeah, I like that. And I can always write or put something else on the back. And I can decorate here and here. And you can do lots and lots of fun things. But yeah, I'm not going to glue it. It's um, popping just yet because that glue is still wet. Fun, love it. And uh, yeah, now we need to make some more pockets and more tags and fun stuff. And I can't wait to get some more things from friends. Should probably share. It's gonna be fun to find out what people are gonna send me. So I think actually I'm gonna end this video. Let me just let's just add a little bit of an edge. For funsies. You're not gonna see it a ton, but you can sort of see it darkening. Yeah, I think I'm going to order a tea dye um, ink and then by the next time you see this, 
journal when they get well, some more goodies from friends. <laughs> we'll have a tea guy to play with as well and we can have all sorts of fun. So there we go. I think that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, like, share, subscribe and come back next time for another instalment of the tea journal, wherever that may take us. Bye. Thanks for watching.